guess I won't be going that way. Good morning to you, Live to Fish fam. We are out here at the Crocker Boat Launch. Something a little different for me. It's about 10 miles south of where I'm usually fishing on the bay. Gonna head out to Lake St. Clair here, just south of the Metro Park. Not where I normally launch from, but where I fish from shore. It is Friday, July 2nd. It's uh, first light, so it's not quite six o'clock in the morning yet. Temps are about 57 degrees air temp. Winds are kicking up at about 10 miles an hour right now. Um, definitely going to be a little bit windy, but so far the water doesn't look too bad. We'll see how it goes. And we're going to be meeting the Michigan fishermen out here. So another collaboration day. And speaking of which, Michigan fishermen just showed up here. I'm going to head out a little bit and I will meet him out there on the water. Do a little bit of trolling on my way. This is my first time out here. And it is absolutely beautiful. I know this was closed for a while because they had a lot of dredging to do for the launches to get them open. But this is nice. Got a lot of seawall. There's a rocky point up here. Another point over there. Should be interesting. All right, let's get to it. I want to apologize for not putting out more content recently, but the declining shore conditions, and what I mean by that is the mayfly, or what we know out here as fish fly hatch, has left the bank angling uh, less than desirable. There's just stacks upon stacks and piles upon piles of rotting flesh of these fish flies, and it's been absolutely it's it's been nasty. And they kind of end up in the bay where I'm at. So shore fishing has been out of the question. And because of the high winds and storms we've had over the past week and intense flooding we've had in the area, it's been a no-go for taking the ultra skip out. So it's been kind of uh, landlocked for a while. But today marks another good day of launching the ultra skip and getting out here on Lake St. Clair. So hopefully get some, uh, get some good fish today. Michigan Fisherman is just about ready. I can see him loading up the last bit of stuff on his yak there, and he's gonna meet me out here at this point. Trolling out the swim bait back behind the ultra skiff. Beautiful morning though. Like I said, temps are really, really decent right now. They were, oh my gosh, we had temps up in the upper 80s, 90s, real muggy, real hot. It's been, uh, it's been a blessing to get a break from that. I think the highest today are only at about 72. So it should be good. We've got the 4th of July weekend coming up. Happy 4th of July to everyone. Hope you're having a great 4th of July weekend. Hopefully, give you something to watch. Let's get on some bass. I got something here. First one of the day. Nice large mouth on the Ned rig. All right, surgery complete. Nice little large mouth to start off the morning. Caught that on the Ned rig. And this is the one fifth ounce finesse shrooms head with the what is that? The green pumpkin goby color. It's the uh, Finesse TRD. See, man. Always my go-to. I was throwing out some swim baits, wasn't getting anything, and then uh, decided to change up to a Ned rig, and sure enough, boom! So let's get out some more. That was up in pretty shallow, and the winds are uh, pushing from the northwest they're kind of pushing me away from the bank here. I'm going to flip back around, see if I can't get a more constant drift along this rock line here. That should help. 
Michigan fishermen and I were kind of banking on the fact that uh, a lot of people are heading up north, so there's not going to, hopefully not, going to be a lot of boat traffic today. There's a lot of people up north for the 4th of July holiday, so that'll hopefully keep it a little quiet, but the winds are not keeping the water calm, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's hard to keep your bearings. That's a snag. That is a snag. Let's see if I can't go get it unsnagged, though. All right, successful unsnagging, but you can see I bent that hook. I'll try to bend it back a little bit and get it back in the water. All right, got her straightened out. Let's get back to fishing. And the Michigan fisherman scores for the morning. Is that your first one? Is that your first one? Awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Plant this. Take a look at this lunker. Gotta be close to pushing four. Before I do that, last time I was trying to get my measurements, I uh, dropped it. Dropped it <laughs> I mean, you got the phone. Yeah, yeah, I got him. Yeah. that video tube? What'd you get for the weight? Three, three, six. Yeah, three, three, six. Nice. Good job. All right. Thanks for the early bite, buddy. Nice. Fighting good. Yes. Nice fish. All right. On the old Ned rig. Sorry about that camera angle. Nice little large mouth. Deal. And a release. Excellent. Nice. Good job. Hey, fish is a fish, man. You finally landed it. That's the key. Yeah. Oh no. That was a bad cast. And that is why you wear eye protection, folks. That thing came zinging back at me. Yeah. It's, it doesn't seem to bother him because those hits that I got over there, man, I was like right on top of them when I got hit. They are tucked in along here, though. I don't know if you can hear that with the wind damper, those flags flapping in the wind. Winds have got to be probably a good 15. 12 50 miles an hour by now it looks calm where i'm at right here because i have the uh that seawall protecting me you can see where the wind's coming in it's whipping pretty good 
Poor Michigan fisherman's getting a workout with his kayak, that's for sure. My trolling motor ain't liking this too much. Stop, the trolling motor don't care the battery. It's about done. So we'll give it a few more minutes and uh, head back around the other corner, back to the side we were at. Ooh, it's nice right here out of the wind. Try fishing this spot for a bit. All right, a little dink. Trying to get this out of here. <laughs> right. So that's number three for the day. But as I always say, a fish is a fish, so. Help! Not bad. Better than last. Whoop. Dismount. You're feisty, man. All right. Excellent. Number four for the day. All righty. Everything's been on the Ned rig, man. I've, I've gone from swim bait to Texas rigged craws. I was throwing the uh, swim bait for a while, or I mean the jig, swim jig. I've thrown everything, and the only thing that's catching them is the uh, is the Ned rig here. I changed up to the copper truce color. Copper truce, yeah. I was throwing Gobi Bryant, which is very similar to that deal color you were throwing. And uh, that green pumpkin Gobi too. I was getting hits on everything, but uh, for some reason, this color seems to get snagged less. <laughs> so I went with this one. Yeah, and I think. Yeah. All right, with everything I'm throwing today, it seems like the Ned Rig is the only thing I've had success with. Throwing out the uh, swim bait, the Exo Swim, I've thrown out a swim jig, I have thrown out. A crack and craw in multiple colors. What else I got here? Oh, a tube. Threw a tube out for a little bit too. And so far, the only thing I've gotten any fish on is the good old Ned rig. And I've caught them on the green pumpkin goby TRDs and the copper tree so far. Didn't have any luck with the Gobi Bryant color, but that's because I got snagged and lost it pretty much right off the bat. Now there, that cast, I had cast towards that yellow flag in the wind bucket and threw it right on the side of the seawall here. So where I'm at is kind of nice, kind of protected from the wind. Another little dink up close to the boat. Thanks, little guy. All right, finally got one on the crack and craw today. Changed up to the black and blue flake here. Running that uh, 3 16th, almost a quarter ounce bullet weight on there. It's pretty chewed up. You can see most of the black paint's gone off. But... That's a four out hook on there, and I'm running 10 pound mono. And I'm throwing that on the mock smash combo that I got two years back now. And you can see the wind is really picking up. I mean, I'm really cruising along. It's been a rough go fighting this wind. Michigan Fisherman's got his anchor out, which is something I need to invest in. I still need to get a 
either a windsock I'm thinking or a uh, or an anchor I just try to tie off to some submerged timber and try to anchor myself on that but that didn't work out so well I came undone uh, several times so I think I'm gonna have to tie it a little bit tighter to it and I just don't feel comfortable in the rocks trying to do that so going back to my drifting up and down the shoreline here that's nice excellent, excellent. good work Michigan fisherman is killing it out here that's really light that's a really light color too yeah, they're not like when you go to Harrison's, you know, you've got those real dark Yeah, they're dark. Colors, you know, a little bit healthier fish, but uh. Yeah, good job. That's nice. <laughs> All right, Little Fish fam, that is it for today. Another wonderful day out on Lake St. Clair fishing and uh, caught some dinks, caught some decent fish. But this guy right here, Michigan fisherman, he hammered it today holy smokes did he do a good job anyway if you get a chance to subscribe to his channel i will leave you a link in the video description below anything you got to say until next time guys tight lines and good vibes we'll see you next time don't forget subscribe and like if you haven't subscribed i don't understand why you should do it now but anyway until next time be safe be well and as always live to fish take care